Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately, he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 40. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Lobo Tashira! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Nice straight punch. 
A beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Teixeira gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Watch the punch. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missed with the left there. It's just over three minutes now to go in round one. the swing and there's the miss by Teixeira. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Glover Teixeira. Nice punch in there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses there with the left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Relax. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Under a minute to go. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Tashir. Straight right hand now just misses. Big leg kick lands. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands. Ooh. 15 seconds to go. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round three. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice leg kick there by Glover Teixeira. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big Paulson punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Big head kick. He got him. He's looking for that left hand. Another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Beautiful hit, kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, man, hit the plan. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, there comes the high kick, and you're in a lot of trouble. Nice punch by Lee. Teixeira's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, what a land there by the former world title challenger, Glover Teixeira, one of the more prolific knockout artists in this 205-pound division, and really says he gets all the training he needs at his own gym there in Danbury, Connecticut. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, he got that boat in the target very quickly. And he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice head kick. Teixeira gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, clipped him with the over. What a tricky head kick. Nice. Landed that left hook. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big kick land. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damn big punch. Got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ten seconds remain in round two. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Effective punch there by Lee. Ten minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no 
No padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Great punch landed with so much power. And he continues to work the body here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding a range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And he landed the right hand there. Misses with the jab there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Ooh, what a head kick. To share his right torso, starting to bruise pretty good here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just messing on the high kick there. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Big head kick lands. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. That was a thudding leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. To share his lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a title class or something like that. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Real quick leg kick. Slips that left hand. Nice strike. This combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Attempts the uppercut there, but it doesn't land. Right punches there. Big body kick. To share his kick is blocked. Effective strike there by Lee. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that's a good right hand. Head kick there, blocked by Teixeira. Huge strike lands there, 
somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Just out of range with that right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Ready? about his powerful kicks, Ready? how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Todd's has shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Flicks the guard, lands the right hand. Going orthodox now. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Checks the leg kick. What a body kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big kick lands. Oh, that right hand is on point. Teixeira gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, at this point of the fight, he is way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he could fight all night. He does a fantastic job of fighting at a great pace, but also knowing exactly where to preserve it, well, to conserve the energy, and it shows. You look at his gas tank, and it seems as though it's still full. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after, he may be able to finish his fight. Teixeira gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to now land flush. Quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. Take it oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the ground. I mean, it's right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, nice right hand, John. Fighters back to their feet here. That was a good Nice strike. Head kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Glover Teixeira. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, big elbow. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! Right hand on point. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Good speed. 15 seconds. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, Chan. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take they do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Try to establish that jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Unable to connect with the right hand there. To share his kick to the body is blocked. Nice head kick. Just missing on the counter there. He loaded up on that right hand too. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Glover Teixeira. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Teixeira. Nice body kick. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Teixeira gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Teixeira gets caught by the inside leg kick. Under three minutes now to go round five. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. Beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Liver kick. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Head kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. Two minutes now to go in the fight. knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. You got to check these low leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful body kick. Lance with the right hand. There's no kill on that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. He is on a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Throws the right hand there. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Straight punch lands. It's such a fast leg. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Hook shot lands. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game.